Hi guys, I'm Megan and I'm here with Imagination Station and this month's take home activity, tinkering activity is breaking world records with household items such as bottle caps, pipe cleaners, and even M&Ms. The first challenge that I wanna attempt is stacking just plain old simple M&Ms. So, the record was actually made on April 7th, 2022, and the record is stacking seven M&Ms, and they have to be up for at least 10 seconds, and it has to be with just plain old chocolate, milk chocolate M&Ms. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, let's see if we can get three. Why is it so hard? Well, M&Ms have a smaller contact point, making their center of mass higher and less stable. Try again. Objects are more stable when they have a low center of mass. So I have a few tips to give you guys that I've found out. Now this works for me, but maybe it might be different for you. Number one, have a flat, stable surface. And I find that it's much easier to work individually so that no one else is pounding on your table, making them fall. Because you know, if you have siblings like I do. Another thing that I like is making sure that the symbols on our M&Ms are actually face down on each one. That way when you stack them, in my opinion, it gives it more friction to actually be easier to stack. Our next challenge is building a pipe cleaner tower. The requirements for this one is that you can only use 10 pipe cleaners, you only have 10 minutes to engineer your structure, and it has to be freestanding, which means don't use any tape or any other objects to help it stand up. You think you're up for the challenge? Maybe one a little fancy top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, free standing for 10 seconds. We've accomplished our goals. So as you can see, it's pretty difficult. I even had one left over. Now, the method that I used was nesting. So I started with a bigger base and tried to make a smaller one and just kind of try to fit it on top of each other. This was my first attempt. As you can see, it is uh, much smaller and my pipe cleaners are kind of all wonky. So when building my tower, I found that triangles are a much sturdier shape to use than squares. Because with a square, you can see, it wiggles around and moves a lot. But a triangle is a very strong structure and shape to use, because if you notice, it doesn't wiggle that much. So our last challenge is flicking a bottle cap as far as you possibly can. So I'm here to tell you guys how to hold it, how to flick it, and hopefully get you to flick it as far as possible. The record for flicking a bottle cap is actually 229 feet. It was set back in May of 1999. That is almost the entire length of a football field. So the first important thing about flicking your bottle cap is being able to snap. So if you can't snap, go ahead and learn how to do that and then come back. Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to snap your fingers like this or like this. So the first thing you need to do is you need one hand up. You, you put these last two fingers down on your hand and make sure there's a cavity there. Always make sure there's a cavity. And you never use your index finger when you want to snap. And then you use your middle finger. You put your middle finger on your thumb and then press really, really hard, okay? And then you're, you swipe your thumb off of your middle finger. Got that, guys? Okay, that's how you snap. You can do it like this, or like this. Bye, guys, hope you like to snap. So now that we all know how to snap, you're gonna simply take your bottle cap, place it upside down on your table, and you're gonna take your middle finger and your thumb, place the middle finger on the inside and your thumb on the outside and pinch it, and you should be able to bring it up. And it should look something like this. And then bring it by your ear, and then you're going to simply snap your fingers. So what happens is in slow motion, so you kind of move forward a little bit, and then as you would snap, it's going to cause this to turn and actually rotate off so that it ends up flying through the air like a Frisbee. Well, thanks for checking out this month's Just Tinkering activity. For any more information that you might need, go ahead and visit our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. And until next month, bye.